Oh, there you are, YouTube. All right, right number 10. Number 10, right here. Right there. Yeah. Grab that one. Paper. You, do, you go tomorrow. Yeah. The burbs. Now. The burbs, yay. Can I see that? Can you hold that up? Awesome. Show it to Dada. Oh, it's so wishy. <laughs> so good. All righty. Hey, we'll put it back in? Yeah. There we go. Hey, no, you go tomorrow. Yeah, you'll do you 11 tomorrow. tomorrow yeah. now. You'll now do 11. Oh, she's talking about the ball. Oh, right there. Yeah. You want to hold, touch that? There you go. Bye. Hi. Hi. You want me to swing up high? Hi. <laughs> Is that fun? Swinging your favorite thing. That's pretty cool. Big old ant up here, the biggest ant I've ever seen. Oh, I see it. I can pick it up on the screen. It was so, uh, <laughs> Ooh, look at that thing. You Dad. like that? Dad. Does it look it like, like Jack? It looks like Jack, doesn't it? And there's a dog. Here, let's get over Kind of looks here. like Slinky Dog. Here, look. There he is. Wow. Wow. That is so cool. Daddy. Is that pretty cool? Do you think he says, I, Jack, the pumpkin king? the birds it was more of a background movie and had some work to do we've seen this movie many times so it's not one we necessarily need to keep our eyes affixed on we know what's happening we know where the jokes are and we're able to follow along as we're doing other things so that's what we did but because I was multitasking I didn't think to film the uh, opening title which I have been doing for most of these movies not all of them but um, because of that, I brought up the DVD. So you can see it here. This is The Burbs. You can see Tom Hanks there on the front, and he's hilarious in it. Rick, I can never say his name, Ducommon. Ducommon. Is it just Rick Ducommon? Maybe. Let's say it is. He is the funniest part of this whole movie. He steals the show. He's hilarious. But Tom, actually, the funniest thing, though, in the movie might be Tom Hanks when he is going down. Okay, spoilers-ish, kind of. A house blows up in the movie. Tom Hanks is inside, and when he leaves, he exits through the front door, pat through a uh, front porch, and then down some stairs. The way in which he falls down those stairs... I don't know how he does it. It's like he's wearing roller skates. Figure that one out for me. I don't understand it. But Corey Feldman's in this movie. Another funny thing, Corey Feldman, Corey Haim, if you know the two of them, 80s superstars, teen kids from this uh, 80s. Um, Corey Haim in The Lost Boys, which is weird, is not in our calendar. One of my favorite movies ever, so I'm gonna have to just like watch that, but we didn't put it in the calendar this year. We're trying to get some movies we'd never seen before in. Um, but anyway, Lost Boys, uh, Corey Haim, he's always got his mouth open in shots. He's always like, hey. <laughs> and I remember on the two Corys, the reality show, um, between Corey Haim and Corey Feldman, Corey Feldman made fun of Corey Haim for always keeping his mouth open in that movie. But 
If you watch The Burbs, it's clear that Corey Feldman was sort of taking that acting style and putting it in his performance in The Burbs because he is like this a lot. <laughs> He's just always doing that, right? So I wish Corey Haim would have bit back after getting made fun of with well, yeah, then you stole my acting style and put it in the burbs. Uh, I think that would have been funny. Never happened, though. But, yeah, the burbs. Rick Dukamun. Is that it? Dukamun? I don't know. It's spelled weird, but um, he he's hilarious. Let me Here, I'll just show you who he is. That guy right there. Absolutely hilarious. Well, another funny part... Bruce Dern, spoilers, I guess, for comedy. Bruce Dern, he's walking up a porch that has a rotten piece of wood on it, and his foot falls right through. And what he says after that is hilarious. The visual comedy there is fantastic. The Burbs, if you've never seen it, try and check it out if you can. This is a movie everybody should watch, I think. It's weird because, you know, it... It's got horror things to it, but it's mostly a comedy. It doesn't really feel like a horror movie. It's kind of like a rear window sort of thing, thriller, I guess. But I would say this is this this does have almost stronger horror elements to it. But if you like Rear Window, if you like um, that movie with Shia the Beef. <laughs> You know, in the one when he's on house arrest. Nope. Lost it. Anyway, that Shia LaBeouf movie that is very much based off of Rear Window. I think you'll like this. And it's funny. Very hilarious. Great 80s movie. So, yeah. Also, before I leave, I will let you know that um, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> And uh, to follow that sneeze, uh, I also have pictures from today, um, you know, family photos from today about this movie. The DVD did not make the picture, um, but, you know, we, we still did a little pose, a little family pose with, um, uh, for this movie, but not with this movie. And, you know, basically... He's spying on his neighbors, watching his neighbors very closely. That's what everybody's doing in this movie, right? Spying on each other. So the picture that you're going to see is going to be me doing that sort of thing, you know, as well. But um, we also have some, because this has been in our calendar before, we have some pictures from the past. So be sure to stay tuned for those after I say my closing words, okay? And I'm going to do that right now. Perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.